that the PRC is being extremely dishonest with the people of Ghana. The PRC should move away from the politics and concentrate on their core mandates. You would recall that in 2018, when they decided to reduce these tariffs by about 17%, we had details and raised issues. And it's important that in this country, all of us begin to interrogate this matter. It's not the PRC that pays the electricity bill. It's not the PRC that pays the water bill. And so the people of Ghana, including your very good self, you deserve to know how these tariffs are arrived at. It ought to be transparent. At the time when they were reducing these tariffs, the exchange rate was getting worse, crude oil prices were increasing, all the indicators were getting bad, and yet the U.S. insisted and reduced the tariffs. As a result of that, Today, we have a huge debt of more than $1 billion. Let the PRC come and deny that because of that tariff reduction, there is no huge debt outstanding. That is number one. Then in July, they came out with about a 12% increment in electricity tariffs. They claimed that that was to restore the sector and ensure that there is financial viability. So the critical question to ask today is that in less than three months, what has changed? I think the people of Ghana ought to know. Because if we take the exchange rate, go and read the Bank of Ghana Monetary Policy Committee report. The issue of exchange rate cannot, and it's not tenable, because the Monetary Policy Committee, which is the custodian, the official source, when it comes to exchange rate determination, is the Bank of Ghana, indicates that the city has been stable. Number two, in terms of our fuel consumption, we are moving more to gas. Indeed, we are moving away from light crude oil, and if he challenges me, I will bring the figure. But even more importantly, I have just opened the PURC website. What the PURC does is to announce tariffs through a gazette. That gazette is signed by the commissioner. In that gazette, they tell us the details of where those monies are going to. In terms of the weighted average, is it going to distributors? Is this going to the transmission sector? Or is it going to the generation subsector? Then we can also do an analysis. But when you issue a political statement and just say that you've increased it by 4.5.94, and you expect that we should swallow that hook, line, and sinker, it begs the issue. This is the same PRC that is creating this mess for us. And so, look, I would plead with you, let us interrogate this matter. You, the people of Ghana, you determine where we move as a country. The PRC cannot be that opaque. They ought to be transparent. They ought to be accountable to the people of Ghana. And all of us ought to know where we are going to. In terms of the debt levels, how much the utilities are making and all that. Because recently, just recently, the Minister of Finance came to Parliament and adjusted the energy sector levy because there's supposed to be some theft outstanding. What is the PUS's role in that? Why must you, the ordinary Ghanaian, come and pay additional tariffs and additional taxes because of the PUS's incompetence?